What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, and welcome to another episode of Fingers in the Batter, coming to you live from the IEEC Studios number two. I am your host, MRT, and with me as always, the drippiest homie, Eric. Yo, yo, what's up? What up, Eric? k Possum. Nothing much. Um, here on our third episode of season three. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, we mm. have buttons for that oh. now, huh? Which one is that one? one? Let's go. Um, what's up, Eric? What's up, Berto? How what? was your weekend? Um, or you mean week? <laughs> oh yeah, that. Um, <laughs> nothing too interesting happened. Uh. I went a whole week without drinking alcohol, which is uh, Good. <laughs> pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, my mom, <laughs> my mom doesn't like me drinking too much, so <laughs> she uh, sometimes I gotta, uh, I gotta haggle with her for certain things that I want to <laughs> be able to do. Even though I am 31, but I I say yes because it is concerning my health. So um, yeah, I was like a week, a week. Honestly, for some reason, I thought about it. I was like a week when you're working, it seems forever. <laughs> a week when you're not working flies by for some reason. And so, but I'm back on my BS again. And that's why we're filming today and not yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's why we filmed today and not yesterday, so we can drink on the show. But uh, how was your week? It was cool. I put off going to the gym for another <laughs> week. <laughs> you know what, dude? Oh, um, I realized um, that's what, why I re- actually eat better is because I feel like all of it isn't worth it if you're not actually doing it. It's mm-hmm. just like, why? Th- like... I haven't been able to go to the gym, but why am I still eating like shit? But then I realized like, oh, because when you go to the gym, like you're like, like this has to all be for something. And if you're not eating right, you're really going to the gym for no real reason. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, I was like trying to think about it. I don't know. I mean, I know why I'm fat, but I don't eat a lot. I, I really don't. You guys, I don't eat a lot. Um, It's the right from now. Beer. Right now. Okay. Right now it is because. Two major things. I'm not active. Um, Conditionally or sexually. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) um, No, I'm not not active. (laughs) I know, right? I know what? (laughs) Um, I'm definitely not active, and I feel bad. Like, my daughters are like, let's go exercise. Let's go exercise. Let's go on a bike ride. And, Berto, you don't take them on bike rides? No, I let them ride around, but they want me to go with them to travel around. But we live in a cul-de-sac, so it's easier for me to just watch them ride around in a cul-de-sac. stand in the middle and let them circle you. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, oh, my God. I'm I'm disgusted with myself. (laughs) But, um, yeah, um... You know, it's that whole thing, 80-20, it is uh, 80% what you eat, but I haven't ate a whole lot, dude. I don't really eat, uh, like, I eat normal people food, I don't overeat, I don't eat more than, like, my regular three meals. Yeah, I have some snacks, but I'm not fucking eating bags of potato chips. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, oh my god, I, I can't even explain it, it's just like, for me... To be skinny, I would really literally only have to drink water and breathe air. <laughs> so it feels like that. It honestly, I think that's what it is for me. So we'll see what happens. Um, I do want to go to the gym because uh, I started applying for like a uh, major job. So I need to uh, I need to start being active for the sake of at least standing up for eight hours. <laughs> So, it's, it, I'm getting there. I started playing my guitar again. Like I said last episode, Lisa got me a guitar. So, um, I I was standing up for a little bit. Um, but that didn't really, that's how I knew I was out of shape. I can't really stand up for too long. Mm. 
which is sad. <laughs> <laughs> is there like a where's the per 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 Uh, um, I think eight. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> now you made a joke out of everything. <gasps> Seven. Seven. Okay. Um, other than that, have you been? You you're going to work. You're staying active. Every everything the same for you, right? Yeah, but I weighed myself this morning and I've gained like ten pounds from where we last left off. <laughs> don't let that <laughs> don't let that discourage you. That's why I was like, I need to start going again. Oh, Kim's Beauty Glam is joining us. Uh, Kim's Beauty Glam right now is currently at Starbucks. At Starbucks, <laughs> and she will make it over here soon. So, uh, all right, let's get into it. Um, we're on TikTok now. Yeah, and the let same me tell as you, Instagram at Fingers in the Batter on TikTok. TikTok. Yes, uh, Fingers in the Batter on TikTok. But let me tell you, man. I never, I mean, I know I'm old <laughs> or I know I'm like not young and going on TikTok made me feel like, holy fuck, I'm old. <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody on there, well, at least everybody who likes your stuff is young. A lot of people posting BS are kind of our age <laughs> Um, is what I've come to kind of see. Um, there's, everybody's doing the same shit. Um, I will tell you this though. Everything, TikTok, TikTok is where everybody's at. Everybody's on TikTok. Um, and that's why when you go to Instagram, you don't really see anything original anymore. Everybody in in quarantine made a TikTok. Is that what it was? (laughs) Yeah. I, I felt, I feel like there was a. A big surge of new TikToks in quarantine. Yeah. Um. I guess I tried it because I was like, dude, I'm on Instagram and everything on there is... TikToks? TikToks. Like, everything on there is TikTok stuff. So, I gave in and I will I will say it. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think it's made for us. It's, yeah, it's definitely not made for us. Um. At least it's really like out of our age range, but there's old people on there. There's definitely older people on there. Um, there's people, older people are usually like uh, life hacks or um, this is what I do for a living. And <laughs> the younger people are all like singing and dancing. And I've seen cholos on there. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of uh, weird stuff on there, but. We have two videos on there. One on there is the spicy challenge that we did with the Pocky Chip. And that one has like how much? Like 150 something views. And then we had Carlos, which still hasn't been on the show. I don't Um, think he's ever going to be on the show. Hopefully. (laughs) But uh, now we we put. He's on our TikTok. (laughs) He's on our TikTok. If you guys want to meet him, um, he did that thing where you put a bottle or a beer can on a ball and you bounce it and you catch it and you drink it he did that and uh with the flip <laughs> yeah with the flip and but before that i had only seen like this one where it's like a fell where a girl it, it, like bounces with like a can and it shoots up to, into her crotch oh yeah <laughs> i seen one where the where this guy he did it and it like hit him in the face <laughs> so i haven't done it um i don't even think i have a basketball actually but uh, yeah, that's the kind of <laughs> we're kind of just gonna probably uh, follow TikTok trends, try to get the fingers in the batter name out there that way, um, just to see if. I mean, we don't want to become TikTok famous. We just want the exposure, <laughs> right? Is that is that what it is? You're trying to use them for their views. Yeah, I mean that's that's where everybody's at, like. Um, all the popular people are like girls or the guys with the curly hair. <laughs> like that meme. Like that meme. Eric has a cousin who looks just like those meme guys. I mean, he probably gets a lot of girls now. <laughs> he's all like, oh my God, he's so cute. He looks like the guy from TikTok. Along Stop with, trying to hit on a minor bird. I'm not hitting on a minor. I'm trying to. You're here 
checking him out. I'm not. Relax, Birdo. I'm not checking him out. <laughs> I seen him, and I'm like, that looks like the me myself. <laughs> and I showed you, and you agreed with me. The meme you found wasn't the meme you were looking for. <laughs> no, the words weren't. But the it's a vector from uh, Despicable Me Too. Mm-hmm. And uh, he has curly hair and earrings. There's another one. It's all like, uh, don't mess with me or my boyfriend's going to beat you up. And it's the <laughs> same guy. <laughs> it's so funny. But, yeah, I'm telling you, everybody's on there. Um, they're like people. I think younger people are trying to shame older people from being on that platform. But no well, matter. You're not keeping Berto away. <laughs> No matter where you are, I mean, no matter how old you are, if you see an opportunity to make a name for yourself, people are going to be there. So none of these platforms are going to be restricted to to certain age groups. You would really have to, like, um, make an app strictly, like, if you're 18 to 22, <laughs> you could only join. But so. then you'll just do what little kids did back in the day and... <laughs> Who were under 13. Oh, yeah. Just lie about your age and you'll see another old ass cholo on there. I, You know what? Um, the only funny guy I've seen on there is a barber. And I followed him on her page because he's just so fucking funny. Um, he first started off as like, uh, oh, t- uh, haircut tutorials. And he started doing uh, haircutting pranks to his friends. And they were so funny and original that I was like, all right, we got to follow this guy. Um. Hopefully those in the area. I'm gonna chat him up, see if he'll come on the podcast. But uh he does this prank where like he's cutting he's cutting his friend's hair and he's putting his crotch all over the guy's hand while you know, because you when you get a haircut you have your hand like on your thigh. He's putting his crotch all over his thigh to get a reaction out of his client and the first like you could see the guy's like scooting his hand away like and then after a while, they're like, bro, chill, chill, bro, <laughs> chill. And then he's like, oh, my bad, my bad. And then, like, he keeps doing it. He's like, hey, man, I ain't, I ain't with that gay shit. Like, people, they get all upset and stuff. But it's fucking hilarious. So um, there's this guy that's famous on TikTok that uh, he works on the border selling stuff oh i think i've seen one yeah my my sister no, my sister no my sister and my mom know him i've seen him too he sold me a michelada on the border and uh yeah um, did he wink at you and come yeah at you that's later? the guy yeah that's the guy yeah <laughs> no he didn't put his crotch on my hand <laughs> but the way he looks at you kind of wish you stuck your hand out at the window and and he did <laughs> like he didn't put his crotch on my hand. I put my hand on his crotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. But yeah, that guy's TikTok famous, and he told us too. Like, oh yeah, I'm I'm TikTok famous, and we're like, but you're working at the line. Like, but man, I was telling my mom how crazy that is. That this guy's not trying to be famous or like do anything. He's just working, yeah, he's, and he's just entertaining. He's himself. just inter- he, He's just like, oh my god, like. I'm jealous of those kind of people. Like, I'm over here actually trying. Like, people <laughs> like me. I'm entertaining. And this guy's, like, effortlessly doing it. <laughs> <sighs> One can only... Um, My sister said we got a lot of videos from him today. He, mm-hmm. keep, he kept singing to, to me. Well, I was like, what's... What's Tome? <laughs> Tome. I hope, I hope you're saying... Ken's beauty glam that he was singing to mom because if he was singing to you, then Alex might have a lot of problems with that. So we'll keep you guys uh, up to date with that drama. <laughs> We're going to start a GoFundMe for Alex's bell. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving forward. I'm already drinking, but. We got uh, our beer, re- our beer review segment coming up. I don't feel like I want to drink a whole beer. <laughs> Eric, Eric, you're gonna make oh. me upset. There we go. Oh my god, Lisa! Don't give him away. The only reason why 
Oh, all of a sudden, Baba corrected himself, or Kim Judy Glam corrected herself. He said, "Me and Mom were here only f- her were her only real friends before going famous." And then Kim Judy Glam said, "Not to me, not to my mom, or no, not to Mom, to me." Oh, she's doubling down. <laughs> she she clarified it. She clarified. Oh shit, Alex. <laughs> Buscate una que te eche lonche. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So, um, Eric all of a sudden is not down to party. But today we're going to try. Hey, last week I was going like on a little four day streak of drinking. So I was down. But this week I've been chill. So, what about on Saturday? Did you drink? Yeah. Wait, when? Oh, wait. Yeah, when the video? Yeah. And then Sunday? You didn't? Nah. I I had an opportunity too, but I was like, nah. Well, I went on a seven day streak, so of not drinking. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we're trying Stones FML. Fuck my life. No, I'm just kidding. It's Stones Whoa, Fear language. Fear <laughs> Movie Lions. Are we watching? Are we no, watching? we're not. <laughs> um, it's a double IPA. The reason why I picked this one up. Is because uh, Stone has Stone's famous Stone uh, delivered all across the all across California, as far as I know. Um, but Fear the Movie Lions started off as just like a six pack, and then it gained traction. I think once it gains traction and people like it, then they start offering it in uh, the tall cans, mm. and that pretty much gives you uh, like people like this stuff. So. Um, Stone Brewery Fear Movie Lions, uh, double IPA, an unfiltered IPA. I feel like unfiltered is people's favorite type of uh, IPAs nowadays. So I'll read the description for you guys. It says drink fresh, an unfiltered double IPA. There's a 3M and a 3M square in our Richmond, Virginia brewery with these three words painted on it. What three words exactly? For the uninitiated, that's what three words. It's a global addressing system to bring locations to the previously unlocated. Inspired by the positive impact of this system, we decided to name this IPA after a three meter square in the brewery where it was created. Check it out. So now when somebody says what three words, you can reply with your own answer if it's Fear Movie Lions, we'll see you here. Um, I love double IPs. Oh, there you go. Eric is, uh, he's tired of me just <laughs> lazily showing. Who's lazily doing what? Me. I'm lazily oh. showing products. Um, I love double double IPs. Double IPs are my favorite. So with half an IPA, I'm drinking a normal IPA since it's double. Yeah, like no, <laughs> no, I I forgot what the a double IPA means. That in the brewing process, when they add IPAs, they do one more step and add more of the hops. Is what it is. Um. And that results in higher alcohol content, but there is regular IPAs that are at like six, seven, you know? It's not too bad. Are you going to drink the whole IPA? I'm going to drink the whole IPA. Double IPA. Here, Lisa. Um, not the equipment. Not the equipment. <sighs> um, Let me see. He said if Alex... If Alex divorces me, I can sell bags with him. <laughs> That's not. I mean, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, he's over here. Like, well, I won't take you in, but you can definitely. Uh, Berto, what divorce? Please <laughs> marry him so he can keep you famous with. Him. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. Would he's got it. He has a new partner. <laughs> we just watched uh, Just Go With It yesterday where Dave Matthews ends up being gay at the end. 
after picking up a coconut with his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, but uh, it told you it was an IPA. <laughs> Eric's over here like I I never understand Eric's uh why well, can never like read Eric. Sometimes he's down a party, sometimes he's not. And the times I'm like he's down I a can't party. Read Eric. <laughs> When I figure it out, I'll let you know. Oh, okay. All right, then. All right. Um, okay. That's not the one we're trying. I know. I was just finishing it. You're cleansing your palate? I'm cleansing my palate. What am I drinking right now? I'm drinking an Imperial IPA. Yes. You like it? Yeah. Is very Indian pale ale. Um, <laughs> you said it's very Indian pale ale. <laughs> um, does it have the ingredients in here? Mostly, a lot of these do. This one doesn't. But let me tell you guys, uh, a lot of these IPAs, you literally can find anywhere. Like, um, what distinguishes these? breweries from other places is that these breweries can consistently um bring to you the same product over and over and over again um that's it's quality and so a lot of people are like oh budweiser is bullshit budweiser is nasty you know stuff like that but breweries respect budweiser because they're brewing the same beer consistently for over like a hundred years, you know, um, and that is hard to do. Um, and I think that's what these breweries who are famous do. Is and I mean, if they had the opportunity to be a big ass beer, I mean, wouldn't you take it? <laughs> well, no, a lot of that's that's the goal of a lot of breweries. It's not just to be your local favorite brewery. It's to be the next. Budweiser, yeah, but it's but a lot more expensive. Exactly. Yeah, not yeah, not Budweiser exactly, but It'd be as big as Budweiser. Yeah, let me see if I could find uh, Stone Brewery FML. I still hate Budweiser to this day. So does Julio. Julio swears that it gives him diarrhea. <laughs> to me, it just one time it gave me the worst hangover of my life. So never again. And I've had many hangovers, but yeah. Um, some of these, some of these, uh, some of these IPAs. If you guys go look for them, um, for certain breweries, they will give you the exact uh recipe for you to make your own uh beers at home. Ballast Point, they have their own homebrew kits that you can take home and make. Replicate some, their replicate some of their some of your favorite beers from their um from their selection. So it's a double IPA, eight point five IBU is a sixty, which is high. I'm surprised Lisa likes that. That's pretty high for IBUs. Um it comes in uh sixteen ounce cans, nineteen point zero cans, which is I think is what we have and it's also on draft. New England style IPAs are all the rage. That's what I said. Uh, fans of Stone repeatedly ask for a take on the style, which it see. That's what I'm saying. These are all styles of beers. Everybody just has their different take on it, and it's up to you. Like if that's your fru- favorite brewery and you like how they make it, the next brewery you go to will not make it the same. But it's their take on it. Um, hopefully next week we can get into stouts. There's, um, I don't want to, I'll say it. There's this place called Solorio in Ontario. And their stouts taste like cigarette ash. <laughs> so I don't even know if they're still in business. But um, that's just kind of how I've I've seen it now. Like every brewery makes the same beers. They just have different takes on that beer that you like. So it's a, you can like uh, Fear the Movie Lions at Stone. 
and hate it at Ballast Point, but you can like a stout at Ballast Point and hate it at Stone. So it's all up to you. It's all up to your taste buds. Um, featured hops are Laurel and Mosaic. Every IPA is made with Mosaic. Um, and so this one has Laurel. Um, flavor profile, fresh squeezed fruit juice, strawberry, blueberry, uh, grapes, and a hint of white sage. I didn't, did I ever tell you that? You told me when you were dismantling it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, the name of my, uh, the name of our uh, brewery was going to be called Sad Dad Brewery. <laughs> For all the sad dads out there. So, <laughs> which is every dad. <laughs> which is every dad. Um, the aroma, a medley of fresh fruit, juice, fresh hops, and a hint of pineapple. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I never smell. I taste what they're saying, but I never smell it. What? I mean, in every in every aroma where they say it smells like fruit juice, it smells like this, but that's not what it smells like to me. Like It just smells like uh, IPA. It doesn't smell like anything in particular. Yeah, it smells like pine cones. I, I, I tricked my friend one time when IPs were, like, becoming famous. Um, I was like, you know how they make IPAs, right? He's like, no, how? I was like, what they do is they pour water over pine cones and they ferment the water. And then he's like, <laughs> oh, shit. He believed it. He's like, he's like, he's like, we need to start doing that. We need to... I was like, no, that's not how they do it. <laughs> And I got that joke from uh, Tasting Sierra Nevada, which is like one of the first IPAs I tried, and it's disgusting. Well, Lisa, Lisa brought it to me. Lisa, that's how Lisa got me IPAs and candy. Oh, IPAs and sour candies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow, this is disgusting. It tastes like pine cone water. And guess who finished it? Me. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> um, oh, one one beer we're excited to try. Okay. Um, so the consensus is that this is a good beer, right? Because I already yeah, tried I it. Yeah, I liked huh? it. Do you regret giving your half to no. Lisa? Because <laughs> um, now we know she likes it too. Right? So um, Lisa likes sour beers. I fucking hate sour beers. What's a sour beer? Oh my god, I can't even describe it's a sparkling it. It's almost like a sparkling wine, but it tastes like fucking sink water. Like, no. imagine if you had like soda and like a Jolly That's not what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nah. it's like one of those things that, um, it's like cilantro. Like for, for a lot of people, like it, t- it makes his food taste refreshing. But there's some people that it tastes like soap. Yeah, that's true. Really? Yeah. yeah. No way. They'll say it tastes like soap. Mm-hmm. That's the first time I ever heard of that. Okay, well then, sour beers. If if like we were hanging out and I couldn't have any beer, other than sour beer, I would not drink. Uh, it's it's a beer from uh, King's Brewery. They called it Frosé for some reason. Oh, and sounds it, familiar. It was like blueberry Frosé, and I don't know why the fuck they call it Frosé, but it's my friends all like I'm in the line. Um, it's super exclusive. It's a limited release. You want some? I was like, yeah, I'll get some. He didn't tell me it was a fucking sour. I tasted it. And I was like, oh, my God, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. They had one called peach uh, peach fruit rings or whatever. And and they sound delicious. Like, it could be like, um, it could be like uh, Sour Patch Kids. That shit will taste like acid. Like, <laughs> I, th- I thought there's you were going brew- somewhere else with that, but you added it at the end. <laughs> There's a a brewery in, I don't know if it's still there, but it was. It's called Sour Cellars, where they only serve you sour beers. Mm -hmm. 
And honestly, the only people who like sour beers are girls and angry lesbians. And and you go in there and you go in there and that's all you find. That's that's honesty. That's honesty. I will prove it to you. I will I will film a video. I will go there just to prove to you that that's that's their audience. Um, I hate it. I I freaking hate sour beers. But Lisa's excited that uh, Warheads is coming out with a collaboration. What the hell <laughs> with the brewery for us uh, warhead candy yeah well, companies Sours. really cross over now <laughs> yeah for everything yeah <laughs> it's that's two different things like a sour beer and eating sour candy with beer is two different things i can't relate to you um And we'll try it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. You said it. Oh, you're right. How did Lisa have better ideas than us? I feel like I have to take Eric to go taste sour beers before that. You're not down. Eric's I'm never down. down. No, he's not. Don't believe him. He's going to sleep at 8. No, whatever. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but <laughs> but if I make plans, I commit to them. All right, we're making plans then to go in the sour cellars. Let me see if sour cellars is still. Uh, you have a laptop in front of you using your phone. <laughs> I know it's a curse. It's a curse. Oh yeah, I think at one point I could have. Uh, I could have won the. Um, texting fast thingy championships. Yeah, I, t- I used to type fast on the number phones. Oh, yeah, without like, looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to be like, <laughs> I was good. Who knows about T nine? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I was still good when they had the full keyboards. I was still good, and then uh, now that everything's like all here on the phone, I'm not that good anymore. Yeah. He, yeah. I, I told you, he's a singular AT and T customer oh. since like two thousand. Um, two thousand four. Oh, two thousand four. <laughs> oh, they're closed on Wednesdays. They're open Thursday, which is the day of the party, right? They're open uh Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's it. Oh well, too bad. Well, see, there goes my plans. <laughs> 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 dude i don't know i mean you you know what i think eric will like it just to fucking go against go you. against me but sour beers are just good maybe sour. blind taste test so i don't know which one it is no you'll know you'll know <laughs> i'm not sure what if you throw a sour candy into a beer oh, <laughs> and i try a sour beer I don't think that's how it works. Well, I'll blind taste test it and find out if that's how it works. I'll throw up. <laughs> You're such a baby. It's just <laughs> disgusting, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go into food review. Food review? Um, well, not food review. The segment is called Hack the Menu. <laughs> it's all late. So, uh, today, and the reason why we're gonna, we gotta start either doing the beer first or the food first because this shit gets cold. Okay. So, as you guys know, we're doing Hack the Menu this season. Um, and, the reason why we're calling it Hack the Menu is because, you know, I've said it before. Um, it's right. not, there's not secret menus. It's just really whatever's on the menu. If you're nice enough to ask for it, they will make it for you. So, which was the case today? Because never ever is he going to get this again. <laughs> so, we might never get this again. We were told. 
So I went to our local KFC and Taco Bell. And I asked him for the menu item. And when we went to the window, he was like, hey, I'm the manager. Um, I'm going to let this happen this one time. But I'm letting you know that if you if this tastes good and you guys try to order it again, we might not make it for you the next time. So don't be like, I got it last time. Yeah, so don't try to throw him under the bus or anything like that. I forgot to get his name, man. But I told him we, we were doing it for a podcast and he didn't seem too excited for it. That's why I didn't get his name because he wasn't really... Uh, I don't know what he was thinking, but... Um, he was just more worried about his job, which is understandable. So, what I ordered was chicken tenders and a quesarito. And I told them, put the chicken tender inside the quesarito for me. And it blew their mind. They're like, no one's ever ordered this. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I can make it. And I'm like, look, I'm paying for both things. I'm paying for an order of three... Um. Three chicken strips, and I'm paying for two quesaditos. Just put the damn chicken strip inside the burrito. <laughs> Takes one second, and then I don't know. He seemed kind of excited. He was like, I could hear him like talking on the side, like, hmm, that. Hmm. He's like, I'm gonna. He's all like, I'm gonna have to find the biggest chicken strips we have. <laughs> Yeah, so this is what did it. And he saved those for himself to yeah. make it for himself. <laughs> so it's a uh, quesadito and well, it's a uh, chicken tender. Chicken tender wrapped in a quesadito. So I don't know. I think we could name this because I think we're the first person to to do this. So I guess if it's good enough, we'll name it after the show. What do you think? <laughs> I guess <laughs> not like we, we you could ever order it again. <laughs> well, I will try. I will definitely try. I will make friends with this guy. He's gonna put it on the menu, and I'll give you credit for it. So look, this is a quesadito, regular quesadito. So it's Taco Bell, and inside also KFC. Do you have a knife? I could borrow. Oh, no, I don't want to bite it until you do the cross section. Yours looks beefier than mine. Oh, Lisa likes it. You want mine? Are you sure? That looks good. Let me see. Let me see. I want to see the cross section. Oh, that looks good. That looks good, you guys. <laughs> We're going to have to call this. The f oh, no. For this to be called the fingers in the batter. We would have to dip this in batter. Oh my god, we have to do that next. That's dangerous. I've done that. We have to do that next. What do you think, Eric? What? Dip something in batter? Dip. Well, dip this burrito in batter if we like oh. it. It's called a what? A fried burrito with chimichanga. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Do you want this to have? Okay. Okay. Is it good? Is it hot sauce? Oh, it's hot sauce. <coughs> oh my god. I can't fail. I can't <laughs> fail. This is fucking delicious. It's good. Like a chicken burrito, but with like a KFC chicken. Like. Yeah. Oh shit, did this one Have we been streaming for an hour? Oh yeah. Let's start it over. Yeah. 
Eric, this is fucking fire. It's fucking good. Wow. What do you think, Lisa? It's good, huh? Holy moly. I'm going to tell you guys too. I didn't see this anywhere on the internet. Stop oh. chewing into the mic. I'm not. <laughs> I could hear it in my ears. I'm How can you say you're I'm not? I'm over here chewing this way, Eric. Hmm. It's like heaven. No wonder that guy was like, this might actually be the greatest thing on earth. Oh my god, this is <laughs> just so good. Wait, what are you putting on it? Hot toss? Oh, is there more? Yeah. Oh, What's right up, on time. Julian? See, we didn't have to postpone. No. To... Oh, he, ha- he, wasn't, he, he wasn't there. <laughs> Julian He's went, on his own. <laughs> Julian went with his dad. Look at him. Look how dirty he is. Were you working on cars? He was working. <laughs> but. Either oh. way, I think it might work out that way anyway. Holy moly. That's good, huh? For those of you guys just joining us, we're trying KFC chicken tenders inside a quesarito. That's not fair. (laughs) Not fair how good this is. What up, Alex? It's funny that we had... Franklin, come to the door while we were <laughs> filming. Now we have Alex doing the same thing. Alex is the recurring character on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Excuse the fact that the last five minutes have been barely going. Oh my god. It's it's amazing. I don't know how to describe it. This like almost about the greatest thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> I feel bad. Like I feel like I should move on, but it's just so good. Mm, yeah. Tell me it's not good. I can't tell you that because it's not true. (laughs) And I'm not a liar. (laughs) Holy moly. We might have to actually hit Taco Bell up. (laughs) And tell him about this. Can you imagine getting a food item named after us? Do you have the colonel's number? <laughs> Tell me to put his chicken in a burrito. Right? Or quesarito. Would you have ever thought of that? Nope. Never in a million years. How did you come up with this? Honestly, I didn't think of anything up until... You were in front of the menu? In front of the menu. 
And I was like, oh my God, like, I have to come up with something quick. Like, what am I going to order? And I was like, Taco Bell, KFC. How can I bring them together? And I was like, well, I can't ask for a whole ass chicken because that's bones. <laughs> so I was like, chicken tenders. Um, Taco Bell. What can I add into a Taco Bell item? I was like, they make burritos. So I was like, chicken tenders and a burrito. You should have put it in the crunch wrap. <laughs> Dude, the possibilities are endless now. The quesarito, good call. The reason why I picked the quesarito was when we rolled up. So I thought, I thought, um, KFC, Taco Bell, burrito, um, chicken tender, and then they have right now they have a a menu box, the five dollar valley box with the ch- quesadito in it. Mm. So I was like, oh, there it is. It's like that's sh- the quesadito. It's basically all tortilla cheese. And me. Like all their base ingredients for yeah, Taco Bell. <laughs> there you go. All the base ingredients for Taco Bell. So that's why I was like, hey, um, I need this. I'm going to order two items. I'm going to order three items. And I need you to put them in this burrito. And they were like, and he was like in shock. He was like, <laughs> I never heard of that, man. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. And, like, I didn't know I was talking to the manager, but he was like, yeah, okay, we can do that. And he was like, I don't know if he forgot to turn his microphone off, but he's like, man, I think I'm going to have to turn off. I mean, no, he's all like, I think I'm going to have to find the biggest chicken tenders we have to fit a burrito. He was like, (laughs) he was having fun with it. Like, I'm pretty sure they make all sorts of crazy shit over there. I and that nobody's would, <laughs> ever fucking thought of this. And that's why he was so stunned. Because I feel like the stoners go to Taco Bell and stoners is like... That's why I told with food. That's why I told Lisa. I was like, watch, we're going to drive up. He's going to think we're fucking high as shit. <laughs> I don't even smoke. So I explained... When he explained to us, um, I'm letting you know that if this tastes good, you might not get it again. Which is fucking sad. Oh, yeah. He said with me, it's okay. Mm. Um... I don't mean to say it in any better way. It was a, uh, the manager was a, a gay dude. He was really nice to us. So I definitely know how to spot him out. But um, <laughs> I explained to him, oh, you know, like, I understand what you're saying. We're trying. We're I like the reason why I ordered this was because we're going to do a podcast. And we've been doing a segment um, called Hack the Menu. Where we try to do stuff, you know, like to to taste good. Where if you have the ingredients, we heard that you can mix them together, you know. He said he had to call corporate to make sure it was okay. You know what? Dang, gonna... imagine they put this at the test kitchen for Taco Bell. I know. We have to find a way to do it, dude. It's that fucking good. <laughs> I forgot about the Taco Bell test kitchen. There's one like in Irvine or something, though. No? Is there? I didn't know about that. Hey, one time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go talk to that guy. I, I he didn't seem impressed about that we had a podcast. He did it. So, but if he showed any kind of interest, I was going to be like, hey, you should be on a show to kind of, you know, like, hey, you work in the kitchen, like, you've seen all sorts of shit, like, he must What's have the stories for days. They've, yeah. got, they've cooked up. Yeah, so, I mean, there must be a lot of crazy stuff, but I think, hands down, right now, we've created the best burrito they have. What do you think? Well, I don't really eat Taco Bell a lot, but I like this burrito very much. It's good, huh? Oh my god, T. Eric. Oh my god, like I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna try to go tomorrow. I'm gonna try to go tomorrow, and I'm gonna try to ask who the manager was, and if he's there, I'm gonna try to talk to him. Be like, hey, you know what? You're gonna be we a got- Karen. Can I speak to your manager? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be Carlos. <laughs> you know what? <coughs> you know why they call them Karens, right? No. Mm. They be Karen too much. 
<laughs> yeah, so um, did, I want did you that. See that. There's no babies being named Karen right now. Oh no, I didn't see that. Wow, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I want that guy. I want that Taco Bell KFC manager on our show. That guy was cool as hell. He wasn't impressed by us. So, um. Maybe once I tell him how good this shit was. He's um, like, I know I tried it after you He said. can help <laughs> us. He can help us get into corporate and maybe have our own FIDB <laughs> podcast menu item at I'm, a Kentuck at a Kentucko hut. <laughs> you have some big dreams. <laughs> that's not a bit. Tell me after you ate that. That's not that's not a realistic dream. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people with food ideas that they try to pitch to Taco Bell. <laughs> but but the one you just ate right now. It was good. You wouldn't say it was amazing? It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna talk to that guy. I'm gonna for the sake of the show, I need to I need to see if this guy could pitch this idea to the show. But maybe too, maybe they have like a certain calorie range, but they did have that fucking Sandwich that it was the breads were fucking two turkey breasts. Chicken cutlets. Chicken cutlets? What was it called? The double down? The yeah. KC? Like. Hey man, like right? Yeah. This is a good enough amount of fat. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 out of 10 for you? 10 out of 10. 10 out of fucking 10. You give it an 8? That's still a good score. Eric? I concurred the 8. The 8? 10 out of 10. Two more points because it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just I'm just really good at this. I'm really good at hacking the menu is what it is. Okay, stop slobbing all over your own knob here. <laughs> I'm going to slobber all over my knob. How good was the double down... Uh, Jack in the Box, garlic buttery. butter, buttery Jack burger. How good was that? That was good. It was good. See, what what else do we have that? Oh, what about the glorious mess? How good was that? Oh, that one was good. That one was good. <laughs> You're this on is, a streak. I'm on a streak. <laughs> I'm on fire, baby. <laughs> Boom, shaka, laka. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to hack Carl Jr. next. That one's going to be... Carl Jr., he's coming for you. <laughs> Carl Jr., I'm coming for your ass. And it's going to be hard because you guys have Green Burrito in there, too. Oh, yeah. So... Oh, oh my God. No, I can't take credit for that. That sounds amazing. That does. Oh. Now I'm going to go... Now my streak is over already. <laughs> The you can get that over. too and come up with your own. Oh, do a head to head. Do a head to head? Like Lisa's who's creation versus your creation? Mm. What about you? We should do a three for three. <laughs> we yeah. all go. Why not? We all go. No, we all go. Oh, yeah. oh wait. I was going to say, I won't know who made what. You'll know. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a good idea. We go three for three. I can't think of anything. Dude, trust me. If I can think of something five seconds before I order it, how are you not going to think of something? This is true. You've been... Dude, you love Carl's Jr. Because it's down the street from my work and there's hardly a line. (laughs) Yeah, so you should know what you like, what you wanted to try, and what might go good together. And I'll probably still win. (laughs) <laughs> oh now i can't use the green chili in there this is harder for me now i already know i already know my base though i have two bases and i already know where i'm gonna take it off so well you'll get second second base and i hit a home run <laughs> <laughs> so next week that's what we're doing we're hacking the menu at carl's jr Oh shit, that's ingenious. I've never seen that. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. I like how the hacking the menu thing is going to become like greater than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I just like, hey, we, we're, we're a food channel too. Like, we should bring food into it. And we've been fucking nailing it. I even like the name. Right? Yeah. It's good. It's a good original fingers in the batter segment. Yeah. Think, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like it. See? Trademark copyright. I know. We need to copyright <laughs> that. Hack the menu. I wish we need to get good at a uh, uh, fucking like title screens. Like, so we're like, it's time hack, for hack, hack the menu. The menu, menu, menu. We have dubstep music on the side. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you know? To make people excited, like, oh my god, what are they gonna do next? What? What are they gonna do next? I already gained ten pounds from last week. What are they gonna do next? Look, one, oh, look, once my brother brought this idea to us, um, once we get more successful on the show, the plan is to get a food truck and serve, uh, All your creations, beer battered stuff. We're not going to say what the menu items are because trademark we, copyright. <laughs> yeah, but the goal the dream is to be able to tour this podcast with the food truck serving battered deliciousness. I'll batter cereal. I don't care what it is. We'll batter cereal. You feel batter sour beer. We'll batter sour beer. Um, and I will throw it at people. And then we'll batter... Uh, cameras and tripods and then we'll try to eat those too <laughs> well we're gonna batter everything we're gonna batter eric's chonies and we're gonna see if he could still wear them for a full day after <laughs> without his thighs feeling all greasy and chafy <laughs> well then he has to wear do you wear shorts do you? oh oh to the gym even that rarely. I remember, I only only wore them on Fridays when we did leg day. Oh yeah, I wanted more mobility. <laughs> yeah, he wanted more mobility. When we play soccer. Oh yeah, and when we play soccer. So only when he's being like super active is when Eric. You'll Not see when I'm at home little... chilling. But yeah, I guess outside of home. When you'll see his legs. <laughs> well, like you said, my shit's been all scratched up. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. I like it, dude. Man, that's so... I love the way this is going. Hack the menu. Hack the menu. Hack the menu. Here we the go. The new fingers in the batter hashtag. Right? <sighs> I think it's just like... The... The anticipation of what delicious, what deliciousness can we combine together? What, what will you create next? Yes, what will we create next? I'm telling you, some of the stuff... Dude, today, literally, I created this on the fly. Same thing with everything else, dude. I created it um, 30 minutes to 5 minutes before I ordered it. Um, remember I told you I work well under pressure? So, I wonder if we actually, like, took time to, like, hey, this is what we like. This is what we're going to do. This is what's going to taste good. Maybe restaurants will start hiring us to make crazy things. Taco Bell, I'm telling you, Taco Bell will definitely hire us. Taco Bell KFC, I think we'll have a future there. <laughs> Dude, every, other, every other restaurant seems like they're like, don't fuck with our menu. <laughs> I feel like they have professional ch- chefs with years, decades of experience creating their... Yeah, but they don't have our palate. They don't, they're not as fat as me. and They don't know. <laughs> they don't know what I like. They see no, but they already did their job. They created two delicious things. You're but just what there I to did, combine everything. I'm just there to combine more delicious things together. Like, oh yeah, you like what you got there. It's really good. But have you tried? <laughs> but have you tried? 
a Western bacon cheeseburger with a whole nachos inside it. <laughs> they're like we're gonna need more buns it doesn't matter i'm gonna pay for it like okay the burritos today were uh 12 dollars so it's a six dollar burrito each which i think uh what drove the price up was the price of the chicken tender so yeah um don't get it wrong you just can't go there Ask for things for them to make it. What well, what I've been doing is asking nicely. <laughs> I've been asking nicely for two orders of things, and then asking them. Well, not even two orders, three, four, whatever I order, and then once I order it, I ask them, "Can you combine them all together?" Yeah, and then they're like, like, "Today was two burritos, two quesadillas, and, and this yes, order of chicken tenders." Yes, yeah, so. It, it it is expensive. Um, I think I paid eleven dollars too for the glorious mess, um, and I paid eleven dollars for the hamburger. Uh, the double down. I'm gonna call it the double down um, buttery jack. So that's pretty much where you're looking at. If you're trying to to do stuff like that, you're looking at it's probably gonna be over ten to twelve dollars. Yeah, like, because basically each item is two orders combined. Yes. Two items combined. <clears throat> yes, so. And you're paying for those two separate orders. Yeah, but it's so worth it. This one was worth it. Last week was worth it. Ah, oh, the glorious mess was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go doing this every day because you'll break your bank and you'll probably have a heart attack, so. I feel like I'm breathing hard. <laughs> and I didn't even eat the whole thing. Yeah. Wait, you ate the whole burrito? I did. It was magical, dude. No wonder you, you were you chewing for like ten minutes. You didn't see me orgasm, like. <laughs> I was trying not to look at you because once like, I heard mm-hmm. you like, and I looked at you and you had your eyes closed. I was like, I was like mm-hmm. okay, I'm gonna uh, to divert my sight this way. <laughs> this sorry. is. Said- that's how she knows the food is good is if I close my eyes. I didn't know. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Like, that's how I know my job is done. <laughs> In the kitchen. Man. In the kitchen. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Oh, my God, dude. I think we've been having fun with the beers and the food. Which uh, brings us to the next su- next subject. How do you follow up music news with all that? Man. Oh, my God. Well, Fingers in the batter part two coming to you next week. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go to music news. Um, One thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, man, this is a long episode, huh? Whew. Um, How do you feel about artists? And 6 9 brought this up, and I noticed this a long time ago. How do you feel about artists using merch? sales to boost up their album sales Mm. i mean they gotta do it some way but like i just feel like they have to be consistent about how how, like how they count it because like didn't they like take away a lot of sales from dj khaled like uh, some while back because it was like that or something oh yeah they did for uh son of Assad, was it so i mean just be consistent about how you count that is billboard because i'm mainly i'm looking at billboard for this mm-hmm. um Nicki minaj did it um oh but wasn't she like talking shit about travis scott when he beat her oh like, yeah that's what it was travis scott and Nicki minaj were going head to head and he started because on top of people liking him for his music, he's really big too in the fashion industry. Yeah. So he was selling bundles of uh, merch. apparel yeah. merch, apparel merch, and it included downloads of his album. And people were fucking eating that up. And so Nicki Minaj couldn't keep up with that because Nicki Minaj is only known in the industry for hip hop. She's not known for fucking fashion. Yeah. So um, that's why she couldn't keep up, and she got upset. She went on her, uh, what is it called, Queen Radio, and vented, and um, the industry wanted a blackball because she was fucking trying to expose the industry because of that. 
Um, <clears throat> but here she is now. Taking that's advantage how, of it. Yeah, taking advantage of it. That's how her and Six Nine got uh, their number one single. They were selling a bunch of fucking merch. And each merch came with a downloadable uh, single. Mm. Which they're like, you know, you're like buying a, a fucking bundle. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I bought a bundle. Yeah, you admitted that last Oh, yeah, I did? Okay, yeah. I got, <laughs> but the only reason why I got it, and I'm not sure what I paid for, but I got it because it was like a signed CD by both of them. Mm. So I'm not sure what I bought, but uh, they had everything. They had booty shorts. They had sweatpants. They had puffy jackets. They had shirts. They had um, vinyls. I don't know if they played their vinyl game right because um you could play it right um they have multiple colors of the vinyl but the reason why you do multiple colors of the vinyl is you're supposed to make one like super rare and then you go down the line so it's like oh green is only a certain number 50 ability. copies and so people buy that shit up and then like uh Blue splatter, 100 copies, and people buy that shit up. And then by the time you get to either all black or clear, it's just common. And um, so they were just putting that shit out like, uh, we have red splatter sold out. We have blue splatter sold out. They never like really gave you a number like if it was rare or not or if you should. Um, it was just, I guess it was just all about the support, but two, you should give the audience an incentive of why you're buying that you know um i like that so that's the reason why i bought the autograph ones i'm not really sure if they're really autographed or if they're just printed autographs but i took my chance on it and then i'll see if i can resell it on the market later Mm -hmm. just because it has both of their autographs but um hold on to it in case never mind (laughs) In case, oh, <laughs> in case he goes night night, <laughs> we'll see about that, huh? Um, so I guess moving on to tragic news in the music industry is rapper Huey was killed in Missouri. If you guys don't know who rapper Huey is, he's the guy who sang uh, Pop, Lock, and Drop It. What what's up with all these like two thousand five two thousand six people popping up all of a sudden? I know that's sad, man. Maybe we just miss other news because it didn't. <laughs> it doesn't relate to our youth. Really? Maybe I don't know. I feel like I keep up. Yeah, I follow. Do you follow DJ Academics? On you should. If you did, then you'd be more up to date on, um, on stuff, and then you'd see the world how I see it now as far as hip hop. It being like a fucking show. A TV reality show. Yeah, and then you just like people, not even for their music, but based on their hip-hop persona (laughs) and the fucking... It's like a real unscripted show, but it's like... It's obviously real life, you know? It's like the Truman Show. It's You can't make this shit up, so... Yeah, so rest in peace, Huey. Um, Definitely... uh, that's fucked up. That ha- what happened to him. Um, hopefully, uh, justice is uh, made there. So, Eric, you got anything else you want to bring up? No, that DJ Huey thing was like the only thing that <laughs> I knew about music news. <laughs> really recently? Yeah. Oh, because wait, since like like the last episode you were talking about uh, Hurricane Chris or whatever. Oh yeah, Hurricane Chris, and where then, he killed somebody. Yeah. And then, like, when I was editing the show, I think, like, the podcast part, not the video part, because Bert also did that. Um, like, I saw that. I was like, oh, look, some other, like, rapper from the early 2000s. But this one he got murdered. The opposite, huh? Yeah. What you would want people to well, be in the I news don't think for? <laughs> being accused of murder is something you want to be in the news for. Yeah. It's just like anybody, uh, Hurricane Chris was released on on bail, and he's like, he dresses public on Instagram, and he was saying stuff like, the truth will come out, and um, 
but he's obviously arrested for something. Somebody, the cops looking at a tape and then arresting you after it was done, it's because they saw something that they didn't like, so. But, um, so, but, uh, moving on to, moving on to Kim's beauty glam segment of... Is she really hacked the menu or no? No, her hers, secret drink? No. hers is like a surprise drink. Surprise drinks of social media. So she goes up. For those of you guys who don't know, she goes to Starbucks and orders drinks that she has been seeing on the internet and rating them. So um, I thought she was a- just asking for Reese's for their for a surprise drink. I think she's doing both. No. Oh. I don't know. Okay. It's it's either or. Oh, look. And talking about Kim's beauty glam, here she is. <laughs> she says she'll be right back. Why'd you? <laughs> she can, she's, she's only like meters away. Meters? Okay. Is it meters? Yes, Centimeters? but I mean, we're... Oh, look, my mom. Hi. My mom's home. We're in America. Why are you talking about meters? This is America. Oh, my mom got Kinder Eggs. Damn, a whole box. <laughs> yeah. No, ki- Kinder Eggs, real Kinder Eggs in America are illegal. What do they have now? <laughs> <laughs> They're a choking hazard. Huh? Yeah. See. And that's a- <laughs> Why is she admitting to crimes? I know, on mom. The you're admitting to crimes on the internet. <laughs> oh my god! And you're giving out full information. <laughs> like my name is Olivia Ramirez. My address is blah blah. I know. My social. <laughs> no, you know, don't dox yourself. I know. And then ICE is gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> Holy moly! Okay, so uh, with her segment, surprise drink it's from Starbucks, here is Miss Kim's Beauty Glam. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh my <laughs> god, that's fucking loud. What up, what up, what up, what up? Mikey just joined right now after an hour on being on live. Okay, so um, Kim's Beauty Glam, what do you have for us today? Okay, so I went and I asked for another surprise drink. And he asked me espresso frap. And of course I said frap. So he gave me a grande white chocolate cream frap with one pump of cinnamon dulce and extra caramel drizzle. Which <laughs> sounds pretty good. glam <laughs> orders everything with extra caramel drizzle. No, I didn't ask for anything. I just said a surprise drink. Not insane. You, oh, you, I do. This, yeah. This is this sounds like your drink. If you give this one a ten <laughs> out of ten, then we know that your system is flawed <laughs> and you just like sugary coffee. <laughs> I got disappointed. Right away? Yeah. Wow. No, it's probably like a six. Seven. Right away, well, explain to us, explain to us the ingredients again, and then uh, explain to us what you're tasting. It's a white chocolate caramel cream frap with one pump of cinnamon dulce and extra caramel drizzle. But the cinnamon's like, you know how sometimes cinnamon's spicy, so it has that like tingling on your nose, on your nose, on your, on your tongue. Uh-huh. And that's what I don't know if I just don't like that sensation. Or... What about the taste? What does it taste like? Cinnamon. So it just tastes, it just like, tastes cin- like cinnamon. So does it taste like an horchata or like? It tastes like the horchata chocolate? you make with lechera. I never had that. It's like just. I can say this is the first time I can say my Starbucks is too sweet. That's too sweet. Too sweet. 
Did he name it? Do they, no. they have names for these? Well, I guess that was the last customer. He said he was closing. Oh, dang. But he just... So that, that was his favorite his drink. His favorite drink. And apparently it does not live up to the Because he asked... Good thing I didn't ask for an espresso. <laughs> so the frap doesn't come with caffeine? I don't know. Because he asked me espresso or, or frap. Well, I'm pretty... I think espresso would mean like, that it's just... Iced coffee? Iced coffee, yeah, huh? Yeah. Uh, he, he probably still would have chose the same ingredient. <laughs> I know. Just, like, either just a frap or like... Would I order this again? Well, I didn't order it, but no. I wouldn't order it. Which was the... Uh... <laughs> weak. Then I guess Kim's Beauty Glam set her bar up high last week. And well, this was a completely thing. different Starbucks, right? Yeah, th- th- this one was in Colton. The other one was in... No, this one was, I don't know, by the 215 and yeah, where Alex works? Yeah, it's still Colton. Okay, well, the other one this one, the other one was on 9th Street. So, yeah, it was two different Coltons. Well, now you guys know. You should, it, does it have his name? <laughs> <laughs> don't no, order it surprise it. drinks from <laughs> this certain barista. <laughs> In uh, Colton off of what La Cadena, La Cadena, yeah, <laughs> which they're both pretty much like on the same street, but like Different two miles, sides? Ap- yeah. yeah, two miles apart. Dang, I can't believe it! What a disappointment! But unless you guys want to try it, it's a grande, well, a white chocolate cream frap, one pump of cinnamon dulce, and extra caramel. Okay, there you guys go. If that sounds good to you, go ahead and order it. But uh, not highly recommended by Miss Kim's Beauty Glam. So there yeah. you go. All right. Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night. All right, Eric. I gotta go pee pee. Oh, my God. Pee 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 pee. Good? Good. Did you have fun today, Eric? I had a lot of fun today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to come back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa even had fun. Look at her. <laughs> she rolled her eyes. She's like, mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, um, that brings us to the end of the show. What a show today, man. We had a good time. And then Kim's Beauty Glam. You guys, Kim's Beauty Glam made it from TJ, San Diego, all the way to the show. In the nick of time. So. What? And of course my mom has to. Has to say. Who am I? She's the one that despedirse. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Berto's paying for it. Yeah, I'm paying for it. (laughs) Not two minutes. Now she's making me feel bad. She's the one that said good night. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Everything was so positive. <laughs> oh look, the views are going up. <laughs> oh, the views are, oh, oh, my bird, bird of the mouth talking shit. Let's get, a, let's watch this. All right, so uh, okay, so I'm done, Eric. All done. Okay, well, where could they find us at? You could follow us on Instagram at Fingers in the Batter. Thank you for everyone that joined us there on the live. Uh, you could find us on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Fingers in the Batter and Facebook Fingers in the Batter. Um, anywhere you listen to podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Can we miss something? No, we're everywhere, yo. You guys, ask, oh, ask Alexa. Stop saying Alexa. You're activating everybody's Alexa. <laughs> oh, my bad. Ask the little <laughs> echo thingy. Um... To play fingers in the batter, and it will go on there. Yes. Oh no! Hold on. So, um, all right, guys. Well, that's the end of the episode. Uh, this this is probably I don't know. I know I lost track of time, but it seems like it's, it's like a, a two hour. hour oh yeah, hour twenty minutes. Nice. All right, guys. Well, um, we'll see you guys next week. Um. Don't be a lazy bones. Return your cards to the cart corral. Laters.
Nice! You made it to the end of the video. You know what that means. It means you created the movie line and are completely uh, wasted while filming this episode. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also smash that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload another awesome episode.